Welcome to my channel. Get comfortable, get you a snack, chill. We're gonna sit and talk about stuff. So today I wanted to go through my fall TBR for 2021. Um, it seems to be about the only time that I make a TBR. <laughs> It was January and September, but uh, yeah, of course a lot of the things that I had planned on reading in the last TBR and the January TBR have um, carried over to current, and I, know, I might do a video at the end of the year where I see did I read my TBR, we'll see, um, but for my channel, I planned a bunch of different video series, and I created an Excel file of like 39 different TBRs, so like each video, you know, I wanted to do like four or five books for it, um, I'll show that on the screen, but, <laughs> uh, so it's a lot of reading to do, but what I figured is I would take like anywhere from one to like four from each of those little TBRs to combine for what I'm gonna do during this quarter essentially from like September to December. Now when November and December come around I might try to add in some more like Christmassy books. Well, I don't have very many but we'll see. <clears throat> To start with, I have some manga that I picked up. This one is Five Nights, yeah, Five Nights at Freddy's, The Silver Eyes, the graphic novel. I've heard of Five Nights at Freddy's before, and I had no idea what it was, but I've heard about it over the years. But I've seen this at Walmart, and I thought it looked pretty cool, so I'm like, alright, I'll pick up this graphic novel. And I have two of the Grim Fairy Tales. I'd seen these on Amazon and they'd caught my eye, but these I actually found at Goodwill in the uh, like milk crates that are meant for the kids. I'm like, I don't think those are really meant for the little kids. So I bought them. I think it's the responsible thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> but now that they looked interesting to me and I'm like, alright, I'll pick those up as well. Um, also I have Monstrous Volume 2. I plan on reading that. And then for oh goodness. I'm dropping things. You probably can't even see me, I don't even have the light on. The light that I have is my overhead room light, which is a daylight bulb. So, that helps. But this LED light would help much better. <laughs> okay, so, just in case you didn't see them, this one, this one, this one. And this one. Alright, so those are the manga I plan to do. I might do some ebook manga. Maybe. If I have time. If I did, it would be Fruits Basket and. No, it might just be that. We'll see. But, I have Beautiful Darkness which was uh, Beautiful Creatures Book 2. When I'd found these at Goodwill, I had only found Book 2, 3, and 4. So I had listened to Book 1 on audio, which I loved that. That was awesome. So this year I plan on continuing with Book 2. This can apply to two of my TBRs. It would help with the Buzzword-a-thon because of Dark. And it would apply to my genre one, which would be the YA vampire ones. So that's 
a video that will come later on once I read all the books. Then, I have Mart, A House of the Night Novel by PC Cast, PC and Kristen Cast. Um, uh, this was recommended to me by a friend, and I picked it up because I wanted to, I like starting the series from the beginning, even though I have, there was like one series that I'd started in the middle, but I prefer to start with book one when I read a series. Then, I plan on reading The House of Doors by Brian Lumley. This is for a trope tasting video for magical libraries, because this has a, an odd library in it. So that's why I'm reading that one. Then, to try to fit in some sci-fi, I plan on doing No Night Without Stars by Andre Norton. And for my Highlander romance, I'm doing In the Highlander's Bed by Kathy Maxwell. It's non-fiction here. First we read, then we write to Emerson on the Creative Process by Robert D. Richardson. For my topic pirates video would be Dead Reckoning by Lori Lawlor. next one's a big book. <laughs> of course, I want to get to My Remarkable Diaries by DK Publishing book here. This thing is huge and gorgeous, so I definitely plan on getting to this this fall. Put that over there. Um, I wanted to get into some YA mystery, so I'm going to do The Secret of the Old Clock by Nancy Drew, and The Secret of Skull Mountain by the Hardy Boys, and I have a Babysitter's Club mystery here somewhere. Here we go. I have a couple of these, but the first one I want to do is Christy and the Haunted Mansion, mystery number nine. Um, I plan on trying out some other YA mystery series, but I need to get them. So right now I'm going to start with what I have, and then when I get the others, I'll do those. Um, I also want to read A Taste of Smoke by Marion Dane Baller. I'm going to start... The Misadventures of Benjamin Bartholomew Piff. Book one is called You Wish by Jason Lefko. And I'm going to be doing a couple other Babysitter's Club. Babysitter's Club number one, Christie's Great Idea. And number seven, Claudia and the Mean Janine. I'm doing this one because I had found a bunch of lists of books recommended for cancers, which, oh my goodness, I can't remember if that's like my moon sign or, I know it's not my sun sign, my sun sign's Libra, but this might be like my moon sign or something is why I chose it. I can't remember off the top of my head, but that'll be coming. I'm also going to be doing a few goosebumps. I'll do Let's Get Invisible, and one of my favorites, Legend of the Lost Legend. I figure I'd pair a non-favorite with a favorite so I can get through them. Um, also, I want to wanted to pick up some of the horrors. This one is a nostalgic read for me because I've read it before when I was younger. Uh, Jane Emily by Patricia Clapp. This one is like a... I don't think it's YA, I think it's like middle grade horror, but it's an older one. And what is this? Put out. And this was published back in like 1969, but a lot of people love it. I loved it when I was younger, so I'm going to be reading that. And I want to read 
the complete tales of Beatrix Potter. I love this book. It'll be a reread, nostalgic, and it fits in with one of my TBRs of doing like a backlist, which combines some nostalgic reads and some that I haven't read, but like I was trying to read a kid's book from each decade was my plan. So this is one of those. Also, I have a bunch that I've already started reading. So am I currently reading that I need to get to? I'm still reading A Kiss of Shadows by Laurel K. Hamilton. Loving it. So glad that I have the other books as well. I still need to get book number nine though. And I'm still reading Find Your Happy by Shannon Kayser. And of course, the Sea, Ships, and Sailors, Poems and Songs and Shanties. I'm still working on that. I'm reading Lost in Thought by Zena Hits. And Nevernight. I think I'm only on chapter 5 of this. So I'm working through it slowly, but eventually I'll get there. That's for one of my uh, reading like a booktuber videos. I'm keeping that secret. Very secret. We'll see. Um, also, I am reading Hocus Pocus and the All New Sequel. I'm not very far into it yet, but this would be great for October. Um, also, I plan on doing some ebooks. I'll put the cover up over here. I'll be doing Catherine House, Love Your Life, Fever Dream, to try to mix in some more horror slash fantasy, but horror. Uh, Libra by Aussie Speculative Fiction, which is like an anthology. Um, also, the only astrology book you'll ever need and The Forest of Stolen Girls, which was supposed to be scary, and it was recommended either to Libra or Cancers. I went through, um, it's another big TBR thing that I'm working on, is like a whole Zodiac TBR, one for Libras and one for Cancers. Um, I'll share more of that later, but for now, know it's coming. But those are all the books that I intend on reading this fall. And it will probably carry over into winter <laughs> as well. Um, but I don't mind that. But yeah. Um, you might have noticed Beetlejuice hanging out over here. I'm working on my next bullet journal for October and November to be Beetlejuice themed. So that will be coming as well. Um, let me know what you're reading down in the comments and if you've made a TBR video go ahead and link it or just list what you plan on reading here soon. Um, if you have any recommendations based on what I am currently reading that you know you think would pair well let me know or even any recommendations for like November, December-ish kind of reads, because I'm trying to figure out, like, first I'm going to start with a whole scary-ish vibe, and then I want to go into, like, the Christmassy vibe, but I have, I don't really have anything Christmassy that I know of, so if you have any recommendations, please let me know, and that's going to be all for today. I'll see ya. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please like, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.